In this video, I'm going to show you on Photoshop how to create a template to make a license plate such as the one I have shown here. This is a pet template for a license plate to go on my truck with my dog on it. It contains two pictures. Uh, it's very easy to do and you can take the pictures right from Facebook. This is your background layer. It's black right now, but we can change the color or add a gradient or whatever you like to do with your background layer. This blue layer is just an overlay to show you where the holes are in the license plate so you can place your frames and such. You can turn the opacity on or up or down and turn the visibility on or off. Now to change the color of the background, I like to just double click on the layer and go into the layer styles. Uh, we're going to add a gradient. The gradient that came up there is purple, light purple, dark purple, but you can add in colors, you can rearrange colors, uh, just do whatever you like. Just adding in some blue here. So you can go in and add more points, you can drag them around until you get them to where you like them. I love playing with gradients because you can be so creative with them. You just keep adding points, dragging them around. You can change the angle on them. You can do quite a few different things with gradients. It's really, really fascinating when you see what you can actually do with them. So you can see this one is not quite at an even angle here. So I think it's 94 degrees. Uh, in order to get the line going straight across, you need to change that to 90 degrees. See? So there's a little spinner there. You can drag it around. If you don't want it actually on 90 degrees, you can just drag that around until you get it where you want it. But I kind of like the 90 degrees. Click OK on that. And there you have it. Your background is overlaid with a gradient. These two little things, I don't know what they are. I just recently upgraded to this version of Photoshop, so I really don't have a clue what those are. So on our blank layer, we're going to add the frames now. So you just drag out a rectangle, fill it with white. Now you're going to select, modify, try 100 going to shrink the, the selection by 100 and that frame would be just a little bit too big let's go back and undo that we'll try for 50 and see how that looks that's better so now while you're on that selection uh, just delete the inside of that square and you'll end up with a frame and that frame is perfect So you can drag that around. You can hit Control T to get the drag out handles on it. And with those drag out handles, you can resize it. Uh, you can spin it around. You can change the angle on it. Do whatever you want with the shape of it, actually. So we're just going to turn on our blue layer there and see where that frame is in relation to the holes on the license plate. Because the background color is a lot similar to the frame color, we're going to change the color of the frame so it shows up better. You won't even see it at all when we're finished because we'll just turn off the visibility for it. There. So you can see that uh, the frame is not anywhere near the holes. I'm going to deselect that and just hit Control D to deselect. Now we're going to select our Oops, we're going to select our frame layer. Put it up above that template layer so that uh, we can actually work it around. 
without accidentally selecting that uh, frame reference. So once you have a position, just go ahead and uh, right click on that layer. And hit duplicate layer. Now you have two layers with the exact same frame. So now you can just drag one over. Hit Control T to transform. And you can change the size of the second frame, modify the angle, drag it around to where you want it. Okay, it looks a little bit over to the left. So what you want is you want the same amount hanging off both sides, more or less. So the frame will be extruded over the edge of the holes for the license plate about the same amount on each side. So we're just going to move that. So you can just see it's like a little tiny bit over past the holes on the top. And we're going to move the other frame so that it's uh, roughly about the same distance past the holes. Okay. So next thing we're going to do now is uh, play with the layer style for one of the frames. That'll give it a bit of color and a bit of depth, a bit of shadowing. If you have preset layer styles for beveled objects, you can use that. If not, you can play around and make your own. Chose that purple as a little dark. Just choose a little bit lighter purple. Very pale. Next, we're going to go into Bevel and Emboss. I'm going to add some texture here. Just go in and choose whichever one looks best to you. There's a few default ones in uh, the latest Photoshop on the Creative Cloud. It's the one I'm using. So you can go in and pick around with them and pick out whichever one is best. Or if you have a texture that you like, you can also import that. So you can go in and change the color. So just grab one of the colors out of your background. Change the size, the spread of it. So many little variables you can play around with to get it looking just the way you want. Depth is one. So now we're going to add a drop shadow, and that'll really give you a bit of depth. And again, you just play with these until you get get the object looking to how you want it to look. Sometimes you'll get it almost perfect. You'll think it's perfect, and then you'll say, oh, I'll just play with it a bit more, and then you actually ruin it. So if you think it's perfect, just stop where you're too. See now we got several drop shadows. So what you want to do just to get rid of those is just uncheck them. You only want one. Adding in a few more details here, inner shadow and inner glow. Not really necessary, but it's fun to play around with. So now instead of doing that all over again, you're just going to select that other object. Uh, you're going to go to the layer you just did and right click and say copy layer style. And select your other object and right click on that layer in the layers palette and say paste layer style. So you have two frames that are identical in style. Turn on your overlay just to see where your frames are positioned, and they're positioned perfectly. Now we're going to add some text.
entirely up to yourself as to what font you want to use there. Anything that looks good to you. Just typing out the dog's name. That's a little bit big, so we're just going to go make it a little smaller. 60 is good, I think. You can see, as opposed to the overlay, that we're very close to the top there. So we're just going to type out our name here. Diesel. Just move it down a small bit because it's, uh, it's too close to the top of the license plate. There you go. So now we're just going to double click on that and give it a bit of color and shadow. That's too dark. Lighter looks better, I think. There, nice pretty pink. Now you got the style that you like. We're going to just duplicate that layer and drag it down to the bottom. Mommy's girl. The actual plate that I'm going to make, I'm going to call it our girl because my husband would get offended if I just said mommy's girl. <laughs> so the next step we have to do is get some pictures to put in those frames. So in order to do that, just select the layer that you want to put the picture in. So we'll start with the left hand side. So select that layer. Now you're going to go in and get your magic wand tool. Just checking to make sure we have the right one selected. That's where we want our picture, so just grab your magic wand click inside the frame. So you see what happens? It doesn't just select the inside the frame, it selects inside the frame and outside the frame. The reason for that is because you need to have contiguous checked. So we just hit Control D to unselect it. Make sure contiguous is selected. Contiguous just means more or less continuous. So it'll only select inside the frame. So now we're going to go grab our picture. So this is one of the pictures that I want to use. Normally to select that I would just hit Control A and Control C to copy the picture. Or you can right click, or sorry, hit edit and copy. So there's a little trick now to pasting that picture in there so that you don't have to trim it around the selection. You just hit your Control, Shift and Alt key at the same time and hit V. And that will paste the picture right into that selection with nothing hanging out over the edges. You don't have to trim it up. So Control, Shift, Alt, and V all at the same time. There you go. So that picture's a little small, so we need to hit Control T. But you see, if we drag it around, it doesn't show up anywhere else on the plate except for inside that frame. So now you can drag it out a little bit bigger and position it to where you want it within the frame.
That's my dog Diesel. Isn't she beautiful? She's a husky. Sorry, she's not husky. She's German Shepherd elk hound mix. So now we need to get another picture and do exactly the same thing on the right hand side of the plate with the other picture. And just make sure that contiguous is selected. Go in and get your other picture. Copy. Either way, Control C or Edit Copy. Now hit Control, Shift, Alt, and V to paste that picture directly into the frame. So when you drag it out, you can see it doesn't show up anywhere else, anywhere else on the plate except for inside that chosen frame. Just place it wherever you want. There you go. So the only thing left to do now is just turn off the overlay because everything is positioned away from those holes and away from the edges of the plate. Here we'll turn off that overlay there now. And now we're just going to print out that template and it'll be ready to press onto our plate. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and be sure to click the little bell so that we can notify you when we post some new videos. Thanks for watching.